Hello and welcome to GrassyMath.com, where math is for everyone. Today we're going to find the dimensions of a rectangle uh, using algebra. So let's get started. All right, today uh, let's read the problem. Given the area of x squared minus 7x plus 12, find the dimensions of the rectangle. Okay, so I'm going to use this area. Whoops should change colors for you guys Let's switch over to red I'm gonna use the area to find the dimensions dimensions means length and width so we know that area equals length times width okay so I'm gonna try each of these lengths and widths and I'm gonna compare it with my answer up here uh, remember this is a TSI video so I'm gonna use a multiple choice uh, strategy uh, however there are other ways of doing this longhand okay so let's see, uh, the first term comes from the first terms. So x times x makes x squared. And here I see x times x again, and again, and again. So my first term did not help me. Okay, so now let's check the last term. <coughs> again, this is a good multiple choice strategy. I can see that the last term is positive 12. And remember, that sign is very important, positive 12. So here I see negative 3 and positive 4. Well, negative and positive would make me a negative. Okay, so the last term comes from the last terms. Therefore, negative and positive will not result in a negative, and so that guy is out. Negative and negative would result in positive, and 3 times 4 would result in 12, so B is still in. Positive and negative would have made me a negative, so that is out again and positive and positive will make me a positive. So here and here I see two good answer choices to choose from. So now it's time to narrow it down. Okay, so to narrow it down, uh, we're going to look at the final choice, which is negative seven x, that's the middle term. Okay, so to check the middle term, we can do a strategy called drawing the smile. First I'll do choice B, x minus three, times x minus 4 and we can draw the smile here right there negative 3 and x make negative 3x and then we draw the other part of the smile right there negative 4 and x makes negative 4x and then you combine these two so when you combine them negative 3 minus 4 makes negative 7x and I can see that that is a perfect match for my middle term and therefore b is my correct answer and the reason it's correct again is because I checked the first term with the first term the last term with the last terms and the middle term with the smile method so B must be correct alright so today we learned a good multiple choice strategy for our TSI uh, involving the dimensions of a rectangle and uh, getting the area using algebra all right, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something, and have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and to visit the website at www.grossymath.com.